This is Gulf Coast box turtle number 23. It was just discovered. It's May 21st, 2018. If I look at all the prior recovery data and I compare the one I just found, this has got a 50 millimeter dome height, 107 millimeter shell length, 87 millimeter width. And the mass is 225 grams. So if I look at all the ones here, the dome length, it could be number 15, it could be number 19, or number 22. Now, the dome going from 54 down to 50, that kind of rules out number 19. It could be 15. This date is from two years ago. And then there's one that's a very close to number 22. And I went ahead and compared the video on the one that was 22. And the shell pattern is different. That one is a male, had a deep undercut. This doesn't have hardly any undercut on it. Um, and that data was from fairly recent last fall, November 2017. So I can rule out number 22. Can rule out number 19 and number 15 here uh, the shell pattern is different on that one so I've got a new entry and the length again is kind of hokey because they get gnawed on um, the dome height is fairly accurate I measure across the bottom the max point with the calipers is a big old Harbor Freight Caliper. They don't make that anymore, but they have them on eBay. Different brand. That's actually a two-foot caliper, but it doesn't need to be that big. I usually cut it off, uh, so it's only a foot long. So what I do is I measure the dome height, the length, and width. And since there's raccoons around here, they tend to gnaw on this. This number 22, I went ahead and added some markings on there. And you could almost think that it is here, but the point is, is these things get chewed on by all sorts of animals. So uh, using a file to put notches seems to not very, be a very good method because they just get gnawed on so so taking a photo and using a photo ID by comparing the pattern is what I've been doing so leave that stationary like that look around on a year or so the patterns kind of get darker and stuff this one I kind of washed off with a towel because it had a bunch of dirt on it and the number of um, rings on this, if you go through and use a uh, just a magic up marker there, pencil, there's one, two, three, four, there's about five major ones. And those kind of really don't mean that much. Could be that's five years old. But again, that's kind of been, uh, it can be twice that old. There's a bunch of minor ones, so you could say it's between five to ten rings. Again, you normally in this area you don't find them this small. So that a, that kind of adds the identification. There's a 15. It's got a way different pattern on it. And then there's the 52. So it rained last night. There's a lot of water out here. Got about a half inch of rain, so they're kind of wandering around looking for stuff to eat. What I do is I mark down the preliminaries when I find one on just a card or something, and then I compare it with my big list. And then if it is a new entry, then I start one on here. So this is number 23. Put down where I found it. Timid in my book just means there's 
I don't have to use a brick to tear out the weight. Some of them are jumping all over the place. This one, you can physically go out into the house and go grab something and it just sits there. Okay, I've taken a uh, Pentel pencil and put where the large divisions are. Got one, two, three, four, say five. The dome height again is from some here to the ma largest dimension I can measure generally using the bottom as a datum. Again with the caliper. This guy's timid, he'll just sit there. Okay, added number 23 in the database. There's the 50 millimeter dome. Very close to 22, but it has a different pattern. And the only other entry is number 15. So in 23 entries, you only have three of them, or even in this small dome size. They don't really, most of them don't survive when they're small, they just get eaten up until they get to a certain size. They're not very robust for damage getting gnawed on. There's where I put some pencil marks on there. There's one, two, three, four, five major rings. If you take the sub rings, you'd get this thing to be 30, 40 years old, which is complete BS. And the rings are kind of a hokey thing that I think they've disproven that it's actually the age. It does vary, but it has to do with the seasonal variations. Um, So there's five major rings on this. And this is very close to another one. But again, the pattern is way different. It's different enough that I made a new entry on here. So I can go look at the video I shot in the still photos for number 22. And that's a different entry. Same thing for number 15. And even number 15, if this is from two years ago, how to identify something like that after two years, it's going to be bigger than that, unless there's something wrong with it. This one's really boxed up. There's some damage there. That's why the the last one I put on here, number 22, put some file marks on here. And you could, well, you could say, well, some of them are on. The, that's the same as that, but they get so gnawed on that you lose the file mark, so it's basically useless. And I thought about putting an RFID on these, so I don't know if you bore a hole or you put one like on a dog, uh, stick it in its leg, but on this type of thing you'd have to physically open the shell and get his leg out and insert in the muscle, but I don't know, it seems like kind of invasive for a small animal like this. So that's number 23. This type on the shell, I actually washed this off with the 
some water to get sort of the pattern because it was so had some stuff all over it, dirt, you can barely see what the heck it is.